Hey, my Young and the Restless fans. Yes, we are back to talk about another episode. First, Devon turns down Tucker's offer to McCall Unlimited. Christine confesses that she and Paul are over. And Chance revealed to Summer that Phyllis was poisoned and discovered the poison at the GCAC. Welcome back to CBS Soap Dish Recap, where we recap everything CBS Soaps, both the young and the restless, and the bold and the beautiful. This is your young and the restless recap for April 11th. And without any further ado, let's unpack this episode. So we start out over at Devon's penthouse, where we see Devon telling Tucker that he is not interested in buying McCall Unlimited, but Jill might be willing to. Really, Devon? So Jill pretty much scammed both you and Victor. You're going to take his money. And then at the same time, you knew Devon was after his father's legacy, but then you somehow decided to kill the IPO deal, bring him back into Chancellor Winters, and then now you want to bite at the McCall Unlimited Apple? Devon, come on now, dude. You need to think about it. Now, I know some folks would rather Jill have it than Victoria, who also lied through her teeth, knowing deep down inside she still wants it. However, Tucker is pleading with Devon to keep it into the family. Man, I hate that this is happening, but folks, it looked like it's not going to happen. So now let's head over to our local Roach Motel where we see Phyllis is reading all about her memorial. And that is just so pathetic. Even though I'm going to give my props out to Michelle Stafford, who's acting the heck out of this storyline, even though I hate the storyline. Now, she hates Diane more than I guess she loves her kids. I mean, she's supposed to be punishing Diane, but she is getting the bad end of this whole deal. She can never see her kids again. Now, the crazy thing is wait until she shows up at her own service and only probably see folks looking around, but she got to actually look her daughter and her son in the face struggling yeah this is absolutely ridiculous so now we see christine having a conversation on the phone with chance who tells her that phyllis's levels of alkaloids in her blood was extremely high and lethal and this is now a homicide case so is he saying that she didn't die because of the crash or was it because of the drugs? I mean, that only came to Phyllis's mind when she was in the ambulance, not when she was raving like a lunatic at that gala. I mean, how would you know that she was poisoned? Again, this is a dumb storyline. Folks should already notice the setup just to get back at Diane. Now, we do see Lauren saying that she will never understand why the universe had to take her now. Well, I mean, honestly, she's not gone just yet. Anyway, Christine tells Lauren that she and Paul has now come to an end. And yeah, I pretty much thought that that was the case. We didn't see any more of Paul. He was just in name only however they're bringing in danny so i'm wondering are they going to put some chemistry between christine and danny especially since christine hinted at that but whatever look like they shipped paul off to portugal at least they didn't kill him off just yet so now we see nikki telling victor that a lot of people are broken up over phyllis and i don't know i don't count two people as a lot but okay i'll just say several victor though he was sitting across that table he could care less his mind was on his ungrateful daughter victoria so now we're over at crimson lights where we see summer telling chance that she needs his help in uncovering her mom's murder um when did you turn into nancy drew and i know one thing chance said exactly that uh don't be nancy drew she starts in on stark and diane conspiring against her mom um tell me again why you fired your mom seriously and he told her that he cannot let her get involved in this investigation now she's mad at herself for not taking her mom's warning seriously about diane Again, you didn't kick your mom out of your life because of Diane. It was because she's been lying to your face for months and brought a criminal back to your doorstep. 
Anyway, he tells her stupidly about the poisoning. And of course, she blames Diane. Now, she's probably going to look like a whole fool. And yeah, you're going to have to eat crow when your mom comes back from the dead. He tells her to keep the poisoning to herself. Man, you should have never told her in the first place. So then Chance decides to go by Phyllis's suite and found none other than her loving husband there, Jeremy Stark, and he demands an update. Chance thinks he kills his wife for the money and is framing Diane, and of course, him being the upstanding citizen that he is, he denies it. He claimed Phyllis was so afraid of Diane, uh, she didn't look so frightened when she chased her up them stairs. Stark leaves. Chance searches the room, and then all of a sudden, Chance finds a vial of strychnine and made a call. Now, while all that is going on on one side of the town, on the other side of the town, we're over at Newman, where we see Nick comes in, wondering what's up with Victoria. He then starts to grill her about the so-called um, acquisition that she chose not to acquire. And she was like, oh, but... I don't want to give Adam a free company. He can do that all on his own. He's a grown man. He's a big boy. And uh, actually, I got to give props to Nicholas when he says, hey, even grown kids need help too. I'll do anything for Summer. Wouldn't you do everything for Johnny? And of course, she had no rebuttal for that. That shut her down real quick. So now we're over at the Abbott estate where we see Summer being mean as ever. And I understand that your mom is gone, but you don't have to treat everybody like trash in the process. Boy, wait till you find out what the real truth is. Anyway, her dad and her grandma comes over and she got so worked up, she almost spilled the secret that Chance told her not to tell. And that's why Chance should have never told her in the first place. You know that kind of information and you think she can hold that? She, that girl ain't holding water. But she was able to control herself in that moment. And finally, back over at the Roach Motel, we see Phyllis finds out that her memorial will be held at the Jazz Lounge and wonder why Summer would even have it there. Why do you care? You should be actually alive and spending time with your daughter instead of wondering how people are going to feel about you. Girl, you are a textbook narcissist. That is Phyllis, not Michelle. Okay, so there you have it, your Young and the Restless recap for Tuesday, April 11th, 2023. Stay tuned for the Bold and the Beautiful recap also for today. And until the next video, like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time. Bye!